Pippa. Pippi. Hello, gorgeous girl. Hello, baby. Oh, gosh. Are you going to help Mommy and Daddy in the garden? Look at that big play bow. Oh, is that chin tickle nice? Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I was making Mark look at this angle of my veg patch with me earlier because I'm just so proud of how... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hippie, you're knocking me over. <laughs> of how much vegetable I've actually managed to grow this year because realistically I thought I was just going to do one thing and actually it's turned out to be from here we've got spring onions, leeks, sweet corns, runner beans, carrots cucumbers that are literally just like coming out of my ears at the minute did I say sweet corns? I can't remember if I said sweet corns or not Gross. but sweet corns <laughs> spring onions, tomatoes that's all empty apart from an onion in there now um, we have got more tomatoes over there, beetroot and also up here we've got strawberries which actually ow! I just got jabbed in the back by this fence because <laughs> we, <laughs> me and Mark have spent the morning and yes me and Mark this time have been doing work together we have fenced off this little bit because a very well made fence here that Pippa actually just managed to walk straight through earlier but we um, are trying to get all of our grass back and hopefully that's going to look really really nice so we've literally blocked it off. Mark cut it, raked it all up, chopped the bush and then put grass seed down. We've then stomped it all in, put fertilizer on and now it's my job for the next two weeks to make sure that it gets watered daily. So actually really the majority of the work with the grass is actually... Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? I don't know if you just heard that, but Mark just did the loudest trump in the entire world. You dirty. Mm. But yeah, the majority of the work is all on me now because I need to make sure that it gets watered and it turns green. But what I was going to say is we have fresh strawberries coming through here, which I don't know what to do about these. Like, do I cut off these leaves for all of this? It's looking super nice and green. I've had a runner that I've repotted that is now looking great, which I now need to repot on this bit as well for the runner. I can cut this bit off here now. I've got another one here, which is actually making a strawberry. So I need to pot this out pronto. And I've also got another one here that's about to produce some strawberry. So what I'm actually thinking of doing is I'm gonna put these in little pots for now, but then what I would like to do is in this planter over here, I'm thinking of having a full on strawberry like planter bush situation going on over there. Or also I potted out my um, big pepper the other day and that's loving life too. This should have little snack peppers on it and you can see already all the little flowers starting to come through. It's so much happier now that I put it into this bigger pot. I'd like to get all my strawberries into there mark there is like half the compost missing because mark's put it all on the grass over there at the minute but my cucumbers oh my goodness look i need to do a big cucumber harvest in a minute because i've got a ginormous one there that one is huge i've got another one round the side that is huge as well another big dangly one down there these are all like mini ones as well so they're only meant to be like this big but they're getting so big like this one i can't even get him out because he's that big really really big huge so i need to come and cut him out and then yeah all the load of new ones are about to start coming through where are they there they are look they're all about to start hanging down and growing so i've literally got cucumbers coming out of my ears but hello gorgeous look at this my fiance, I didn't mean to just punch you in the face. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm just over here at the minute, deadheading, being a good gardener. I need to get a big bucket, but I've just deadheaded all of this and it looks so much better now because I can see all of the new flowers, hello baby, our little apprentice, starting to come through. I mean, I'm not actually the biggest fan of these, but the bumblebees really like the orange. So I'm going to keep them, I think. Pippi, 
What are you doing, darling? You're not meant to be going in all of those, but yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of these, but they do say they fit the like country cottage aesthetic. So that's what I'm going for in this back garden. So I'm gonna keep those there. Fuchsia is looking great. I know, it's a fuchsia. I need to deadhead this one as well, but I don't really know how to do it. I think I just pull off all of these brown bits. So I'm gonna have a look and just make sure that I'm doing that correctly. And yeah, just gonna work my way around. Are we gonna take out this um, bird? Yeah, definitely. Get rid of that now. So we're gonna get rid of that because I wanna put more flowers or next year, I think I might do my runner beans in that circle actually. But in time, I wanna fill in all of the different gaps in between the garden in there and just get it nice and full with loads of flowers. But Mark at the moment, I've given him the task of I want to clear this like little corner area here. I think, do you reckon move the apple tree like over to wherever everything else is? Because I mean, it just, it's just dead there at the moment, isn't it? I need to actually, back, though, it's heavy. is it? Oh, watch my back. Yeah. No, <laughs> we'll work together, you can move it too. <laughs> but I need to, <laughs> but I need to look actually how to prune this and whether I need to give it feed or not because it was doing well and then now it's just, I don't know. I don't know what what's going on. I thought it was meant to produce apples, but I mean, there's still a bit of life in it cause there's still green on it, but I don't actually know how to look after it. So I need to Google that, but I want him to clear this area cause there's like a rattan sofa in the Wendy house that I want to get out and put in that corner so that we've just got somewhere to sit. So yeah, I think that's Mark's job and I'm going to carry on going around, deadheading, making things look nice, clearing up this bird thing at last, harvesting the cucumbers, potting on the strawberries and I think that's about it. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't want to fight no more because I don't feel the need no more, no. Just want to make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one Cheers to all the memories The venom and the remedies Yeah Promise I won't forget yeah. Boo yeah. Do you know where with the masking tape is? I actually don't You'll have to uh, You'll have to look in the box In the box Oh I don't want to go in the box There might be spiders in there There won't be spiders in the box but it's dirty tools. Clean tools. Dirty tools. Very, very clean, precious tools. They're so dirty. Precious. Good morning. It is definitely not morning, it's 20 past oh. two. <laughs> All right, I'm a little bit late. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> it is 20 past two, it's Sunday morning, afternoon. Afternoon. Amateur. <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> we went for a lovely dog walk this morning and it's a good job we did because it's been like on and off like horribly raining this afternoon but we had a fantastic, oh I don't know what that noise is, I'm sorry about that. There um, is a lot of work going on at different houses around us at the minute but um, yeah we had a lovely day in the garden yesterday actually. We got rid of the bird feeder at long last and I've sort of like I think I've made a bit of a plan as to what I want to do with the garden. Should I say we want to do, but it's kind of like... Would you say it's a joint decision, the garden, or would you say I designed it? You designed it. I designed 
I've basically come up with sort of like the idea is I want what I want for the garden. Um, but we got rid of the bird feeder and it looks so much more open now. It looks great. I harvested a load of cucumbers, which I actually had chopped up in a gin last night, which was nice. Well, three or four gins, which was nice last night. And deadheaded the flowers. I think I've got a tiny little bit of deadheading to do. But yeah, so the plan for the garden is, I don't know when we'll end up doing this, probably in like three years time, but the plan is, I wanna add some decking out. So just a small bit, just a tiny bit of decking, just enough to have like a coffee table and two chairs here for like a morning coffee. But decking running from there along here up to sort of like, here really oh has it just started raining again yeah, up to like here and then this will be turfed this part here then along here i want raised planters all along there and then also another raised bed from here where the decker will stop all the way up to there and in those I, it's just going to be another big place to put a load of veg basically i want more, more of like a dedicated herb garden um more places to do every carrots and everything hello darling oh my goodness she always walks between her legs because she likes down here around her butt being scratched but you don't need to see that and then along here i want to put like a little border of lavender so purple and white lavender and then we'll obviously have the vegetable area still the same i'm basically dedicating the garden to vegetables <laughs> and we're gonna take out the six bushes that are down there and just have full grass and then the garden room going along the back but i can't believe how much open how much more open it looks without the bird feeder there like you can see nicely all the way down to the garden to my beautiful fiance here he is Maybe you could just stand there. Maybe you can be the feature, baby. But yeah, so that's basically the POA for the garden. Anyway, but it's actually just started raining again. It's like on and off raining, but I want to, I've decided as well that in the green planter, I'm um, getting quite a few strawberry runners and suckers come off of my strawberry plant. Where's my voice going? So I want to make like a whole planter dedicated to strawberries because it'll just be so nice. We can like fully go out, pick our own strawberries. We could make ice cream. We could get an ice cream maker and make strawberry ice cream, couldn't we? And like strawberry milkshakes and everything. That'll be super tasty. So yeah, I want to have like a dedicated plant of strawberries. So today I wanted to paint my mirror, which I've been trying to do for ages and also move all my strawberries into the planter, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Wait, wait. Do you think I can paint the mirror in here if I put your little trellis things up? Yeah. Do you mind getting your trellises for me? Yeah. You do mind or you don't mind? You do mind. Yeah. I don't think you heard what I said. Please, can you make, please, can you get my, um, can, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I just spat all over you. Can you, um, get your trellises, please? And so I can paint my mirror. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you can go. So that's what I'm going to do now anyway. I'm going to, um, they just there, aren't they? Okay, thank you. I'll go and grab them in a second. Oh but I'll um yeah so I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna go and paint the mirror. Have work. <laughs> and then I shall do the strawberry partners. It's oh my goodness, look at the rain. That's the dog brush! <laughs> look at the rain, Mark! I know, ruining my grass. I want it. No, that's good for the grass. It's been, too far. it's been five minutes already. Wow, it's getting very precious over his grass. It's good for this grass. It's good for the grass. It's great for the grass. Well, you need it for the germination of the new seeds. That's They'll love five it. Five minutes a day. Five minutes a day. You can have a word. Well, I won't water it for the next week then. Absolutely not. <laughs> but yeah, that is... Well, I, I can't, I can't do my strawberry plants now, can I? What am I gonna do? You can paint this. I want to start a new book, actually. I'll show you a new book. I um, I finished Malibu Rising. It was alright. It wasn't like 
I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It was a very easy read. Like, I can imagine reading it on holiday, but I could very much, like, put it down, leave it. I wasn't too bothered about, sort of, like, picking it up and wanting to know what happened next. It was kind of predictable as well but i've heard that author include sort of like the characters of her books within like different books so it'll be interesting to read the other books to see how they link but it was all right but i wouldn't say that it was like crazy worth the hype that it was about but it was an enjoyable read anyway but i'm going to start a new one did you just say that i can paint up around there around this one around this one I could turn the tape off as well, it's been there for dunks. I guess this does need painting, doesn't it? Hasn't it not already been painted? No, uh, it's only been primed. Oh, it's only been primed? Yeah. So what, What? that's just primer on there? I thought it had already been oh, done. I'm sorry, on the inside, on the actual door. Oh, on here, Cases. on the door casing. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, possibly. It's different now. <laughs> this is the book I want to start reading. I might just sit down and read my book, darling. But I've read um, Claire Douglas before and she was really, really good. So I'm just working my way through her books at the moment. But yeah, this one's called Do Not Disturb. Be careful who you let inside. So it's another thriller. So I'm bound to have nightmares again soon. But it looks really good. Oh, Bobby, you haven't got all daddy. You're so cute. Come on, we got work to do. We've actually got more strawberries coming through for this summer. I thought they were all completely done, but I've planted it out. It is now out in my big green planter, and I think this was definitely the best idea because I can very easily plant out now where the runners are going to be and pop a new little plant here. So I've actually got one, two, three and another one over here for little strawberry plants and I've actually got this one here as well that I need to plant in to there because this is a cutting that I made ages ago off of this plant but that's grown really really well in that little pot so I need to get that potted in there and then we've got a full strawberry planter and I can't believe that we've got strawberries like coming through already so I need to go and get some soil uh, not soil I need to go and get some straw or some sort of like mulch to put around these different plants because I didn't mulch them last time and I'm going to see what the difference is between mulching them and not but yeah I'm really really happy we've got a beautiful strawberry plant coming through and I can't believe but I've just spotted on my pepper plant as well that since planting this out, these little peppers are coming through. So it's obviously so much happier in the bigger pot. I didn't realise that it actually needed to be in a bigger pot. So hopefully now that it's in here, it'll develop nice and quickly and get growing on those peppers. Um, the beetroot are doing really well. And also, good news on the run of beans is that the washing up liquid looks as if it is starting. I mean, there's still quite a lot but it looks as if it's starting to get rid of the bugs and they're coming to sort of like the end of their cycle and actually dying off. Cause I think they only stay alive for sort of like a few weeks anyway. So I think they are under control because this used to be like completely black. Whereas now it is definitely coming up to green and there's loads, where are they? Loads of new runner beans coming through. So I'm gonna come out in another couple of days and do a big harvest of the runner beans. There's another big one there coming through too. And hopefully soon we'll have runner beans coming out of our ears. On the sweet corn front as well, I don't know how sweet corn grows, but this looks like progress to me. I think there is also gonna be a new cob starting to come out of here as well. Oh, and here too. So I think we're gonna have if that is not one, I'm not sure. I need to actually go on YouTube like how sweet corns grow, but I think that might be one. Then another one here and also here coming through as well. Oh, and that side, so there's four all together if they actually all come through. This one's developing as well nicely. Get that bug off, goodbye. Um, and through here as well. But yeah, there's some really nice progress going on. Look at that big guy over there. After I thought that this was all gonna die, 
it looks as if it might come back to life and after my big harvest on my cucumbers the other day I actually have another one already coming through as well we've had like a massive massive near on like a storm like there was so much rain yesterday and it was so heavy that these have had the biggest drink and I think looking at the sun it's gonna be a beautiful day so after all the rain it's going to be perfect and I think we're going to have a lot, lot, lot more cucumbers coming through. I've got all my little ones starting to come through already. But I'm really, really happy with the progress in the garden. I'm, I'm just loving that we've got a whole planter dedicated to strawberries now because I'm really excited for this. And I almost want to make another planter as well straight away so I can have another set of strawberries over on this side too because it will just be great for things like milkshakes and protein shakes just to bung them in whack them in the freezer it's so easy i will get that planted in at some point i'll put that on my to-do list for this week very happy i managed to come out and do this yesterday you enjoying the morning sun my darling hello hello gorgeous hello baby so although i managed to make myself go and stand out in the rain yesterday and do the strawberry plant i couldn't stand out in rain and paint the mirror so that's just another job that's gonna have to be done i'll pop it on this week's list but i don't think I'm gonna get an opportunity to get it done because this weekend we're at the wedding. So we're not gonna be doing any sort of like housey stuff this weekend. I think it's literally gonna be Friday night we're at a friend's barbecue. Saturday night, well, Saturday day, I've got, oh, I'm so excited. I've got like a full blown pamper day. I need to dye my hair. I'm gonna get my nails done, my toes done, my lashes, my brows, and I'm gonna have fake tan as well i'm gonna have a complete and utter just pamper day it's gonna be so nice i cannot wait but i feel like at the beginning of that vlog i'm gonna look completely different than i do at the end but i'm really really excited for that and then sunday we're at the wedding and i'm assuming monday we're gonna be completely hungover and not in a position to sort of like do anything at all so i'm not sure when that mirror will get done but i'm just super grateful that i managed to get those strawberry planters done because we had a very sleepy sunday yesterday we just chilled we watched films we watched actually the gray man which has just come onto netflix with ryan gosling and chris evans in it and it was really really good like completely sort of like far-fetched action but sometimes i absolutely love films like that when it's just so unrealistic like so much action and i like it when action films have sort of like a little bit of comedy in them too. So I really enjoyed that. I started my new book and oh my goodness, that sun is coming through thick and fast now. So yeah, even though I didn't get the mirror done, the strawberry planters are out, which is super exciting. But it's now Monday morning. I've just made myself the biggest mug of coffee because it is needed this morning i woke up and i wasn't in the best of moods to be honest i was like oh i'm in one of those moods where i could literally just sit and sort of like is it wallow and just like really let this bad mood consume me but i was like i'm not i'm not gonna let that happen because i'll be so frustrated at myself sort of like later on so i've gotten up put a wash on sorted my food plan out for the week made my bed like even small things like spraying my crease release on my bed makes me feel like so much happier because now when i walk up the stairs i can smell it and i'm like mm, that smells so good and that instantly puts a smile on my face i then clean my desk for work oh the sun's gone back in i'll come back out later i literally oh I'm so like, I was gonna say mesmerized then, but I do find it so interesting. And I'm just so like, wow, over how the garden is literally changing like every single day. Well, like my vegetables are changing every single day. I just never, I know I've said this before, but I just never knew how into vegetable growing I was gonna get. I just find it absolutely amazing. But yeah, back to the point. So I was having a really bad sort of like morning, but I've just done all these little things that have now put me in such a good mood. I also washed my hair, I got in the shower, had like a really good scrub, I've done my skincare, I washed my hair, use my hair burst products, which I absolutely love. And yeah, now I'm feeling like fresh and ready for Monday again. So I very easily could have gone back to sleep and just like been upset, but I'm in an amazing mood again now. And it's just like doing the really tiny things sometimes that just help so much. And I'm so glad that I've done it. 
But yeah, I'm ready for Monday now. I'm super excited because for dinner tonight, I'm gonna do my tomato sauce with prawns, like my fresh homemade tomato sauce. So I'll go and collect some more tomatoes from the garden and we can make that together. I do actually have a little bit of tomato sauce left over, but I'll make some more just so I can sort of like show you how I make it. Although I don't know if I've actually got all the ingredients, but we'll have a look later anyway, that's fine. But yeah, anyway, I'm very grateful to now be in a lot better mood, ready to smash the week. I need to go and make my weekly to-do list. I've got to crack on with work today and then yes, I'm excited for tomato pasta later. I think sometimes it's just having like one small thing that you look forward to like throughout the day and I'm excited for dinner today. <laughs> so that's what's gonna keep me very, very happy. and it was so so tasty that I absolutely just devoured that prawn pasta it was absolutely delicious oh it is so beautiful like I can't even explain how different vegetables taste when you actually grow them yourself like completely organically they just are so flavoursome like tomatoes I know it sounds silly but they really taste of tomatoes like they're just gorgeous they don't taste anything like shop bought it's just oh so 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 nice but guess what I forgot to do I forgot to hit the record button while I was filming it so I filmed making the tomato pasta but it wasn't filming like there's a massive red light that comes on when I'm filming as well so I could very easily have seen but I was obviously just dead set on like getting my dinner ready that I just completely oblivious to the fact that the red light wasn't on and didn't film any of it but rest assured it is absolutely delicious I shall put the um recipe in the description box below because I think that'll be the easiest thing to do and it is just always oh, so so lovely i have prawns and spinach with it and i also put just a touch of cream in it too just to make sure that it was like nice and creamy i had lacto free cream though because i am trying to cut out cow's milk again because ages ago i did a york test and it told me i was like massively intolerant to cow's milk but i really really like cow's milk so i, I just didn't cut it out and I'm bloating all the time so I'm just listening to my body now and I'm trying to cut it out again well I have actually I haven't had any for over a week now and honestly I'm not noticing too much of a difference at the moment I mean I'm less bloated but we shall see I'll carry on with it anything anyway and then hopefully I re reap the benefits from it but yeah dinner was absolutely delicious it is now five past nine so I am gonna sit here and watch the first half of Love Island I said this year, I was like, I'm not getting into it. I'm not doing it. Every single year I lose an hour in the evening. Like I'm normally in bed reading my book from nine till 10 and then falling asleep. But now I'm watching this until like half nine, getting in bed, ringing Mark while he's working away and not falling asleep until like after 10. And when I try and get up like early, sort of like five, half five in the morning, I'm just shattered. So I just can't help it though. I just, oh, it's such a guilty pleasure. And I won, I'm back in Ekansu and Davide to win. I absolutely, oh my goodness, love Davide. He is just so, so, so funny. So yeah, I'm gonna sit here, watch the first half of Love Island, read a bit more of my book and get ready for bed and yeah that's the end of monday so i'm gonna love you and leave you now and i shall hopefully see you in my next video bye Mwah.